Welcome back. We've just met Oscar, I guess. This strange automaton who seems to be fully sentient somehow. And who is missing his feet. And we've said uh, we'll help him try to get his feet. So I guess we should keep an eye out for a way to do that. We haven't really found anything else we need about the factory or Anna or Hans in here, so let's move on. Oscar is simultaneously the best character in the entire game, and also one of the main embodiments of everything that's wrong with this game. I w you'll see what I mean later on. Um... Well, Oscar said we should look um, in Anna's office, which was uh, above the production floor, so presumably up these stairs. It's kind of easy to miss, but the door is actually here. All right. I guess these are light switches. We can't touch them. Okay, pretty nice office. You know, for a factory office. Nice desk, anyway. Let's put it that way. Let's see. Some notes and receipts or something. Perrotin Blanchard Solicitors, Association of Bailiffs, Rue de Cadran, Besançon, Madame Vorlberg, Rue Grand Val de Laine, July 20th, 2001. So this is about a year ago, I guess. Recovery of Outstanding Payments. Madame, you will have received several warnings from my office concerning penalty charges incurred on unpaid invoices from the company La Colombe. The total debt for which you are responsible currently stands at 47,782 francs and 46 centim. Um, wait, it's 2002. Or even 2001. Is that... The euro was introduced in 2001. I don't remember the exact date. I strongly advise you to acquit yourself of this debt by sending the necessary funds to our payment center. In the absence of such a response on your part, I will be obliged to undertake legal proceedings against you to recover the outstanding funds. Yours faithfully, Blanchard Bailiff. Okay. Looks like the factory may have been in some financial trouble. Fontenay Carpentry, Hameau de Montlieu. 35040 Montero. Madame Vorlberg. Madame. This is two years ago. Well, year and a half, I guess. Madame, despite numerous follow up letters on our part, we notice that you still owe the sum of 80,210 francs, corresponding to invoices dated January, February, and March 1998, including increments for late pay payment. We are asking you to resolve the situation by return of post. In case of non-payment, we will be obliged to suspend all supplies and refer the matter to the relevant legal authorities. We trust we shall hear from you soon. Yours faithfully, Monsieur Martineau, Head of Accountancy. The Passery Bank, founded in 1511, Geneva, oh, a Swiss bank. Geneva, January 4th, 2002, that's more recent. Dear Anna, I find myself under the obligation to undertake certain procedures against your company. A situation I find particularly painful given the special relationship our bank has enjoyed with your company over the years. You yourself admit that, for some time, Vorlberg Manufacturing has become a financial liability and, due to shareholder and partnership pressure, I am no longer able to underwrite your debts with the bank. I'm sorry to say we are obliged to comply with the economic imperatives of the era. It is for this reason that I beg you to accept the American investor's proposal. Such a takeover comes at a fortuitous moment, and it is the only way to swell your accounts and settle your debts. It will also enable Vorlberg Manufacturing to stay afloat, streamline production and modernize production techniques. 
You will thus be able to keep the Vorlberg name alive, one that in its day was a guarantee of quality and savoir-faire. They do love that word. Please believe me, Hannah, when I say that I offer this advice not just as a banker, but also as an old friend who desires nothing but good for you. I know that such a decision cannot be taken easily. You can truly hold your head up high, my dear Anna, and be proud of your achievements throughout the years. My deepest apologies for bearing such unpleasant news, and I remain at your entire disposal should you need me. Yours in dear friendship, Gustave Passeri. Okay. I guess that explains why she was interested in selling the factory. Oh my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. Um, that's what we... No, that's a letter. All right. Ooh, a letter to Hans. Valadilen, 6th of March, 2002. That's fairly recent. Dear Hans, I know how much you dislike the written word, but I do not have the time to forge your voice cylinder. Hey, that's what we found. Uh, in the tomb. I imagine that someone in your entourage will be kind enough to read these few lines to you. I received your latest set of plans. Your project is extraordinary. Your old-time masterpiece, perhaps. Time seems to have had no effect on your genius, quite the contrary. I am proud of you, my dear little brother. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that a century has gone by since the last time I saw you. It only seems like yesterday that you rushed away from Valadilen. We undertook production immediately following your instructions to the letter. The locomotive was ready within a week. If only you could see it. But you will see it, that much I have promised you. It is magnificent. It seems impatient to set out on its maiden voyage. There's only Oscar left to build. I hope I will finish him soon, but as you can imagine, his mechanism is complex and takes a great deal of time and handiwork. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I understand you wish me to bring you that cursed prehistoric doll, the very thought of which I wonder if it is still in the... The very... Huh? I, I don't really understand this sentence. The very thought of which I wonder if it is still in the cave and if it is what state it is in. But what does 60 years matter, after all, to an object already several thousand years old? I'm going to find it, Hans. I promise you. I have a bit of nasty flu at the moment, which is running me down a little. I should be better in a few days, though. The sale of the factory is taking shape. The lawyer from New York should be visiting and we will be able to sign the contracts. Then I shall... I guess she never finished the letter. She was nice enough to put an ellipses at the end, strangely enough. Um, it's almost as if she knew she wasn't going to finish it. Okay, it sounds like this is about that train that Oscar was talking about. I wonder if the train was intended to take Anna to Hans. Kinda sounds what it's like. And he wanted her to bring some weird prehistoric doll. Okay. If that is the purpose of the train, it might be a uh, way for us to find Hans. I guess this is the train. Interesting looking thing. Bunch of measurements. Nothing we can really do anything with. And doesn't look like we can open or do anything with the drawers. So that's all then I guess. Nothing behind here. How about this cabinet? Um, a clock, some books. It's the only thing we can do anything with is this book here. Oh. Okay.
some kind of recording or playback device, I guess. Music cylinder. Looks the same as the voice cylinder we found, which makes me wonder. Clever when father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. Hans, be careful! For weeks, my brother lay in a coma, hanging between life and death. And then one morning, he opened his eyes. But I knew he would never be the same again. We never did return to the cave, and to this day, I have never ever betrayed our secret. Okay. I guess that was the accident that caused him to lose his faculties. That they mentioned. And it looks like we can take the top of this thing. Hans on a mechanical toy. I guess she wanted to tell of her secret and recorded it on the voice cylinder. Wait, who was the voice of Hans on the cylinder then? Did they make the cylinder together? Kind of weird. And then she hit that in the grave, which she knew she was em which she knew was empty. So I wonder if that's the doll that the note about that the letter about the train was talking about. If so, we have to find that cave. Um. Just to confirm that, I guess. Although I don't really need see why we would need it. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. What else is up here? We can go further up the stairs. A control panel of some kind. Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that works. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Hmm, I wonder if this is to make uh, Oscar's feet. Doesn't look like that works. Um, okay. Doesn't look like that works. Yeah, that's not exactly operating right now. Oh well. Guess we can't take the punch card back.
There's a ladder here, you can't go up, up it. Sometimes she doesn't want to run when you click on the exit of the room. Um, I guess none of this is operating. So if we do want the feet... Maybe we need to figure out how to do that. How to start all of this. Hey, getting power to stuff is our specialty after all. Alright, nothing on this screen. Something in the corner there. Looks like another door. Hmm. Some kind of contraption. O F. No idea what that stands for. Doesn't look like that works. All right. Let's just try pulling levers. That's a normal thing to do, right? Um. Oh, it's a water wheel, I guess. Mechanical hamster wheel. Oh, kind of silly. Maybe now this will work. Looks like it lined up that. Yeah. That did something. Alright, we've got noise. Maybe now we can make some feet. Guess only one way to find out. Which is to head back there. Let's see what we can do. Alright, well, there's some activity. This still, only this one is lighting up. Doesn't look like that works. And it is still not working. And <laughs> what I don't really like is that it does not tell you why. Like it didn't tell you before that it was there was because there was no power, and it doesn't tell you now what else is missing. This game is very heavy on the just try things until stuff works. It doesn't really give you explicit hints as to what you're expected to be doing quite a lot of the time. Which is not usually how I do things. Especially not in a Let's Play, where I tend to like showing the logical progression to solving a puzzle. But here there often just isn't one. It's just, I can do this, therefore I will. Nothing else to f look at in the factory, so let's um, just get to go to the next path, I guess. It's nice that you can see the wheel moving now that we've um, turned the power on. What is this? Looks like some kind of loading dock. K. 
can't look at anything here, so no idea what any of this is. But there's another random lever, which I guess we'll pull. Okay. That took something inside. Not entirely sure why. Maybe that has something to do with getting the machines to work. Before we go and check, though, I kind of just want to look around further. So, well, let's go and check the next path. Um... Hmm. Kind of looks like a train station. Could this be where the uh, uh, fabled train is? It just says it just says Valdelen, but is this Valdelen's public train station? Because it is behind the factory gate, so that's kind of weird. Also, the SNCF logo is nowhere to be found. Looks like it's abandoned. Take his office of some kind, but it is, uh... Unmanned. Um, uh, sorry, I was getting distracted by these posters here. Prenez le train. Vous... Something. I do not know what the rest says. Something du temp. Take the train, is what the top part says. Probably like, you will save time or something. <laughs> train à grande vitesse. The, t the TGV. Um, that is not a picture of a TGV. I um, quite like the TGV, although on the whole I think the... I prefer the bullet train. Sorry. Um, to any French viewers I might have. It looks like we can go across the tracks. This is the train, I guess. Are you whistling the theme song? Or the song in the background, anyway? Something similar. Um, can't talk to him. Which is kind of a shame. Alright, well this is very interesting, but it is also... Don't really know what we're doing here. I guess we can go inside the train. We can. It's not open. If it's not locked, I mean. It is open. Nice train. Could be some clues to Hans's location in here, I guess. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Alright. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Okay. Sleeping quarters, I guess. I guess this train is going a long way. I suppose this was meant for Anna. Nothing else in here. This is damn peculiar. It's a lot of effort to build this train. Must be important. That's another way to get to the other side. Go through the train. Go towards the front. 
We cannot. I think we could go further to the front on the other side, but right now, it doesn't really look like we have anything to do here, so... Guess that's the end of the tracks. Or to start. The posters do make it feel like this is a public train station, but there's only one track. It's filled with a train that currently doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And it's behind the factory gates, so... Color me confused, I guess. No idea... If we need to do anything with that. Not right now, I guess. Only one path left. Um... A house, I guess? Kinda hard to tell. A building, uh, in any case. The door's locked. But I've still got to get in there. I guess Momo said that the factory was Anna Vorlberg's house, so maybe this is their house? In that case, it makes sense that Kate wants to go get in there. But the door doesn't seem to be the way, but it looks like we can go around back. Maybe the back door is open. Alright, that's a tall house. Looks like there's a ladder here. I need a key. Um, now you might be tempted to think that you need to go back to the cemetery and get the key you already had back. Because it is, um, if Kate's not in the way. Come on, you can see that it is another Vorlberg key. But no, you can't get that one back. There is another door here. That might be easier. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. So you've said. Oh great, a hedge maze. That's just what we needed. Someone's working here. Probably Good morning. Talk. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. Well, she definitely sounded French. Then again, she also used the word robot. So, maybe she's not a local. Um, statue needs some, uh... Repairs. Nothing here, though. Please don't tell me this is a maze. No point. It's locked. I guess the way into the maze is blocked, so... I'm going to call that a good thing. We can go over here, though. Aha! Cleverly hidden. Yeah, I guess with the factory being shut down and then being bought by a foreign company who presumably won't keep making the same kind of automatons that aren't really selling well, People will have to get used to doing things without them here. And they seem to be used everywhere, so that will be quite a big transition for the people of this town.
Let's see if that key works. I wonder if you could have used the key found in the church here. Never actually tried that. Because there's nothing stopping you from getting that key and then just coming here without opening the tomb. And then going back to the tomb with this key later. I guess that raised the ladder, which maybe that'll give us a way in. We'll have to find that out in the next video.